What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial we're going to be placing some windows on curved walls. Now this is a bit more complicated than you would expect because uh, window families in Revit they are usually designed to be placed on flat surfaces so whenever you have a curved wall you're going to have some problems. It will depend on the curvature of the wall but the more curvature you have the bigger problem you have. So in this video I'm going to be showing you some tactics how to adapt uh, or how to create custom windows for these uh, for these types of uh, for these types of uh, walls and then also towards the end of the tutorial I'm going to be showing you a little trick family I found online that can make this uh, a bit easier than uh, than usual. Okay, so that's what this tutorial is going to be all about. Make sure to like this video, it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each uh, week, I make multiple tutorials. And also if you're looking for some courses, for example a complete beginner to intermediate uh, level in Revit 16 hour course, well that's available on my website. The link is in the description. There you can find also some more intermediate and advanced uh, uh, courses for advanced Revit topics. Also, if you're looking for my Revit project files, I've got over 400 files on my Patreon. That's also going to be in the description. There you can find all of my Revit project file as well as all of my advanced Revit courses. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. Okay, so here we are in Revit and for this demonstration, let's just quickly create a new project. So I'm going to go here to models, go to new, and as far as the template is concerned, I'm going to choose the architectural template. Now I'm just going to click OK and here we are in Revit. So the first thing that we need is of course a wall. Uh, now in this case, let's get started with uh, just the wall command and then I'm going to choose the 300 millimeter generic type. Uh, now for these walls, uh, if you're working with an uh, arc that's not too deep, so a wall that's long and here the angle is, uh, is not quite too large, something like this, usually you're not going to have that many problems. The problems will usually appear when you have a smaller uh, arc like this, so it's a 180 degree arc and it's a smaller wall. So here you're going to be having some issues when it comes to placing windows. So if I just go back here into the 3D view perhaps and let's go to windows. Uh, now here for the windows that are already loaded in, the problem is these are quite narrow. So what I'm going to be doing is just selecting this one, uh, going into edit type and just changing it. So I'm just going to duplicate that one and make it a bit uh, wider. So let's go with 1900 uh, millimeters, click OK and then add an extra one over here, click OK, there we go. So if you place it here, it should be fine, but if we place it here, it's going to, well, we're going to start having problems. So let's go back into level one. Here, as you can see, this looks pretty uh, all right, even if I turn on 10 lines, maybe the fine level of detail. So this, uh, this will always look pretty good, even though we have the arc, here it, it looks decent. Now, in some cases, this might look too close to the edge, especially when you have a curve like this. So what they suggest you do uh, with these types of windows is just go into edit type, and then we have the window insert. Currently it's set to 19 millimeters, which might work with straight walls. It's a bit too close to the edge with these curved walls. So I tend to increase this to maybe 60 millimeters. Hit apply now as you can see it goes a bit towards the inside of the uh, of the facade so I think it looks better now uh, now moving to this window over here and as you can see it looks completely uh, terrible uh, this does not look right if I go to the 3d view yeah so you can see the frame is straight and the curvature is pronounced over here so on the inside it looks like the wall or on the outside or on the exterior side it looks like the window is kind of uh, 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 indented a little bit so it doesn't okay this is terrible okay maybe yeah the, the hidden line view is best so yeah as you can see we have this whole huge gap and then if we go to the interior side it's even worse because we have this whole straight uh, uh, line of the frame of the window so that doesn't look right either. So let's find a creative solution for a window uh, such as this one. 
So what I'm going to do first is get rid of this window as we don't really need it. And the first thing for creating our custom uh, window uh, is we need to create an opening inside of this wall. Now that's quite easy uh, here on the openings tab. So just make sure you're on the architecture tab on the opening panel and then go to wall opening. And then you select the wall and then you click like this and you can create an opening. Now, of course, this is more of a door than a window. So I'm just going to hit the escape key a couple of times, come in close. And when the opening highlights, select it and then you can resize it. So you can basically resize it to whatever you want. Let's go with something like that. Yeah, so we have that curved uh, opening inside of the window. And what's really great with these wall openings is when you go into level one, as you can see, uh, the, the opening is going to follow the uh, angle of the wall. So here it's going to be like a perfect uh, perpendicular uh, line. Same thing on this side. It's not going to be cut at an angle, which is really good. But a whole new uh, array of problems will appear now. Uh, so the problem with this kind of an uh, opening is we have to construct a wall frame uh, as well as the glass. So uh, if I go back into 3D, and then for creating something custom like this, what we need to do is we need to use an in place uh, component. So let's go here to model in place. And for the category, of course, I'm going to choose the window category naturally. So just go to windows, click OK, then you can add your own name. I'm just going to click OK. And now let's start modeling our window. Now you're looking at this window and you're probably thinking, well, perfect. This is easy enough. It's a perfect job for a sweep. So you go to the sweep, you go to pick a path, uh, you go to pick 3D edges, you choose this edge, this edge, this edge, and this one over here. You hit finish, you go to edit profile, and then just quickly make a simple rectangle here, just like that. You hit finish, finish again, and there we go we can't create that sweep. So unfortunately, a sweep cannot do the job over here. It's super annoying. I don't know why uh, Revit doesn't allow us to do something like this, but I, I guess it doesn't. So we have to delete this sweep. So the only option we have left is to go into level one, go to create again and use an extrusion. So go to extrusion, uh, use pick lines, you pick this line, this line, this line and this line, you hit finish, go to one of the elevations, maybe the south elevation. So it's here on the ground, you can bring it up a little bit. And then you can make the total height just 100 millimeters, I'm just going to select this thing, uh, go to copy, unconstrain it and just move it from here to up here. Actually, let's just attach it there. There we go. And then again, we have to go back into level one, uh, go to create, go to extrusion, and then use pick lines again. So pick this line, pick this line, pick this line, uh, give it an offset of 100 millimeters, which was the thickness of that wall and click here. There we go. So it's simple enough. You just hit the escape key a couple of times and then you go to trim and extend and you fix these up just like that. And then we have to do the same thing on the other side. Now let's try something actually. I'm just going to select this, go to mirror with the draw axis. There we go. So we can find the middle line. Perfect. So we have the same thing on the other side. Okay. So once we finish this, hit finish, go to south elevation. And again, let's adjust this here and here. There we go. Go perhaps in the 3D view. And then here you can make additional uh, uh, changes. For example, I just want to join this geometry together. Same thing here. There we go. Looks perfect. Okay. And of course you can add some glass panels in the middle if you want. So again, go to level one, uh, go to create extrusion, uh, go to pick lines and let's give it an offset of maybe 100 millimeters again here. And then let's go with something like, I don't know, like 10 millimeters like that. Now, of course, this is way too close. So let's turn on 10 lines. And then let's get rid of the offset, bring it to zero, just use a simple line to cap this over here, use the tab key, if you can't make selection or just go like that overshoot a little bit. And then just by using trim and extend, we can fix this up. There we go, go to the other side, maybe in this case, we can use pick lines, pick it like that. And then 
using trim and extend we can trim it back there we go perfect hit finish go to south elevation again bring this all the way up and then bring this here and there we go now of course let's go into 3d uh, let's turn on the realistic mode this shouldn't be great so let's uh, select the frame now you can hover over one piece of the frame hit the tab key and it will uh, select the whole joint uh, frame and then you can go to materials and let's choose some sort of a wood material i like to use birch wood so i'm just going to load that in click apply okay there we go looks perfect select the glass uh, and then go to material and of course you're going to search for yeah glass and finally we have our glass we have our frame everything looks perfect you go to finish model and you're done so there you go that's how you create these uh, really cool curved uh, walls and rabbit now one more thing that i would like to mention before finishing this tutorial and that's that extra additional way uh, of creating uh, windows uh, in, in revit that i found online from a fellow youtuber i'm just going to leave a link to this family if you want to download it it's really cool it doesn't do the complete job but it is still cool so what i'm going to do is hover over this window hit the tab key uh, a couple of times until i can select the opening then i'm just going to copy the opening up here so let's see if we can do that let's unconstrain it Okay, I think this that's going to be a bit harder. Let's go to South Elevation. Okay, there's the opening. Let's try to copy it. There we go. Okay, so we have just the opening up here. And now if I go back into 3D, let me show you how that family that I found works. So it's a really cool adaptive curved family. Here we go. There we go. And then what you need to do is you need to follow... A certain methodology of placing it so you have to go to the uh, bottom uh, right corner click here then you go here to the other side then you go to the middle and then you go to the upper right corner and then it's just going to place this frame here now of course you can adjust this frame uh, the the frame width so that should be 300 there we go as well as the uh, the thickness uh, but unfortunately you cannot place glass or anything like that inside so it's a cool adaptive family it's a bit tricky to place and then it again as i said it doesn't add the glass and it's not as versatile as this method but if you just need a small frame on the outside of your uh, opening it does do the trick uh, but in most cases i would just stick to a uh, model in place uh, like that and also here uh, again if you don't have that uh, that deep uh, angled or curved wall you can use just regular windows okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial again as i said if you want to download project files check out my patreon the link is in the description and also if you're interested in some advanced courses a b complete beginner to intermediate 16 hour course and much more check out my website balkanarchitect.com okay so that's pretty much it make sure to subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions make sure to leave them in the comment section below Thank you for watching and have a nice day.